Hey there, Mission Control. Well, we're gonna go back to uh, back to the table here since we had some problems last time, uh, all the testing that didn't go all that well. And uh, this time I'm looking at kind of setting it up differently. I have a few different parts here to play with. Uh, we're gonna try to use a PVC coupler underneath to connect into the one inch uh, thread like we spoke about last time. And uh, then connect into a pipe coming off the bottom of that like so for the drain. And then we're going to need to plug this in and we're going to run the pump temporarily on the other end. That way we have flow through here for, um, I did have the water coming up on this side and going out on this side and that was a mistake. I should have thought about it. This is the picture that they showed though of how the bed was set up. So kind of sucks that that happened, but whatever, that's life. Uh, so we're going to get started on this. I'm going to fuss around with this, get it connected, and then we're going to get going. All right, so here's one for you. I've been sitting here fussing around with this for a little bit. One inch, one inch, pretty, nice. Okay, everything screws on like it's supposed to. All right, now we go with one inch, one inch. Won't, won't screw on. Then we have its nut, screws on fine. Nut, one inch, same thread screws on fine. I look at the threads exactly and they fit like you can see them they go right next to each other at the same pitch. I think maybe the only difference is that the black pipe has like a less pronounced uh, sharp edge. It's a little more wide but it should thread. Minimum it should start. But it doesn't want to. No matter how hard I try to, come on, go to your home. Go to your home thread. Oh, it just does not want to. So my whole plan that I've waited all week to get to, it's gonna have to be adjusted. This is pretty much life on Mars. All right, well, I'm gonna put the old drain back in and then I gotta plug the inlet uh, and I'm just gonna do the same Jimmy rig that I had earlier uh, on it just to get it to drain. I gotta take the foam up. I'm gonna take it up to the barn, set up the table saw. I'm gonna trim off uh, about a quarter of an inch off of each side. And of course, I brought out the wrong tools to tighten clamps and everything, so I need to go get that taken care of. Okay, I just got back. I got the uh, boards all cut. Nice and smooth, do a little fit check here. Oh, pretty. They fit just right. Love that. Okay, now we gotta get this thing off and I got the right tool now. So we're gonna climb under here, get all crazy. Very intimate with the bed here. What I prefer to do, I'm gonna take this all apart. And I think instead of the one inch tube coming down, I'm gonna use this as the drain with black hose on it on this side. So I'm gonna take that all out. Pump out of here. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna move this to the other side. but I've got a 90 on it, elbow that I'm gonna use. Put this down into there. And, and I'm gonna that up. Right through the middle and up. There we go, and I got a 90. Where's my 90? Where did I put my 90? Where did I put it? It's here, I know it's here. There'd you go. Okay, I'm losing my mind. Oh, how about it's right there in front of me? Right where you can hide it easily. So, beautiful. Okay, now hook up this side. Take this apart. Got some goo on it there, that's no good. Goo is no good. 
uh, underneath that. Okay, let's set this up. Uh, got it filling with water. <coughs> Excuse me, the uh, tables are floating, or the foam is floating as it should. And I got uh, the end all set up here for drainage. Uh, so let me give you a close up. Here we go, got the drains there. We got the big one inch, which is just temporary. And then I put in the black one there, which is gonna be permanent. And then we got our floaties, the floats. And then I need a custom cut one to go here so this doesn't turn into an algae bath. Uh, but we got the water flowing in right there. Really needs to be coming down more off to the side somehow, so I'll work on that. Uh, but let's get some uh, starts. You can see how easy these, these move here. Barely putting any pressure on it. Huh? Got to be even pressure because it is cut perfectly to fit in there. Works though. So uh, we're going to get these little guys here. Start putting some of them in. See how they sit down in there. And uh, let's put some plants in here, huh? Let's stop messing around. Let's get some plants in. All right, so I guess the general idea, learning here, it's getting really warm and this hoodie's coming off shortly, is we gotta fill this bad boy up, take the lettuce that's in the starts here and get them into these little pockets. And then they can grow close to each other for a while and then you start spreading them out as they get bigger and bigger. And all you gotta do is grab the little uh, container here and lift them out. At least that's the idea. Boy, there's a lot. I think there's 72, 72 holes in this one board. So I'm gonna get this done and uh, give you an update as we go. All right, I got them all in. And now I gotta get these little guys out of here and leave as much dirt behind as I can, but not all the roots. And then shove that little guy down into there. So that, this is the cocoa core now that we have here. It's gonna make it all dirty, I can see already. Okay, so I should really be taking these over here. And then trying to get one plant per pot. So some of these have more than one plant in them this one. Separate that out. Put that bad boy right in there. Oh, that's a lot nicer. Okay, we're getting it. There we go. The roots right down in there. Much nicer. Okay. Next up. So the idea that we're testing here is, you know, it's just hydroponics. That's all it is using aquaponic water, so I guess you call it another split system. But we're trying to get it where all of our lettuces come from the, the upper beds using these ebb and flow tables so that we can use the lower beds, the media beds, for plants that have uh, larger stature, meaning that they need to have uh, you know, support and, and structure to them whereas lettuce basically just does its own thing here. Probably don't want to plant the whole board quite yet. Give it a test. This should work. Other people do it. Good test is very valuable. Well, the fan came on and man, it's nice. Working good. Really reduces the temperature in here. That's gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge this summer. Lots of little plants. All right, I'm gonna keep doing a few more of these. We'll catch up in a bit. Okay, my last one here. Find a single. There we go. And all we're supposed to have to do is lift this up. Ooh, and they all set in there real nice. There you go. Lots of lettuces and kales and stuff. Leafy greens, and then we just set it right in there. And that's all I'm supposed to have to do. Let me show you. Okay, so now the plants, they just sit right in here and their roots are sitting just a little bit in the water. 
Just a little bit, yeah. Uh, boy, hard to show you. I'll push up from the bottom here. That's about two centimeters, maybe, quarter of an inch or so, that they're sitting down in the water. So now these, their roots are all supposed to get nuts and just be really, really happy, happy little roots, and uh, just kind of take off. Um, we don't need them to get huge, I guess. I'm thinking maybe like these could be like personal little salads, you know. Um, but we'll see how they do. They get a lot of light here. They get lots of cool water. So it could be a lot warmer in the building uh, than what lettuce is like. But as long as their roots stay nice and cool, usually they're fine. And then we got everything draining down here. Appears to be working well, but we kind of need a stop on this so that it doesn't... Uh, doesn't go over the top of it and block it because that could very easily result in an overflow situation. I'm going to do something about that. It's the last thing we need. So it's looking like it's going to come out pretty okay. Uh, I need to go cut the one piece that goes here so we can cover everything up. Uh, and then we got the first thing of lettuce in. And the idea is that these, as it matures, you push it down this way. So all these ones that are empty, really, uh, we want to start filling them and then uh, push everything down like so. Uh, here's the problem I'm having. This one little spot right here. I need to have it basically where it doesn't allow it to uh, go any further than that. Just like this. For now, that'll have to be good enough. Otherwise, these can float right over the top of the drains, and I like the drains right where they're at. There's a good uh, quantity of water flowing through there. You need both drains going at the same time. And I got it, again, temporarily rigged up underneath there. I got one black hose and then the one inch PVC. It'd really be better if it was one inch PVC for both, but for a test like this, I think it's okay. So I got one more chore to do. Let's get to it. All right, I just got this one all cut. Set it in here. I also zip tied this hose. I put a extension hose on this one here uh, and have the water running in so that this can sit in here nice and tight. Everything's really nice, fit well. We got our lettuce going here. Uh, so we'll be able to watch those over the course of the next few days and see if this, uh, this idea will work. And normally when they do these uh, floating raft systems, Usually um, they're uh, a lot deeper, uh, like 12 inches, six to 12 inches deep. So this is just a two inch deep tray. We'll see how well it does. Uh, I'm hopeful that we'll get some good results, but uh, it could not work potentially. I think my hypothesis is that uh, we're, they're gonna grow. And what we might do is we might get plants that like get, you know, like that tall, uh, but maybe because they don't have enough space underneath for the roots, they don't really like get really big. Uh, I think that would be okay because I think each one of these could end up being like a, a personal salad, you know? It just has everything you need for your own salad or maybe two of them. And uh, that'd be perfect, perfect size. Just move them along. Anyway, kind of cool having this up and running. You can imagine having uh, these types of beds going up and just taking care of all of our leafy greens uh, and then some, obviously this building was designed to take care of four families of four. That's four adults every day. So that's a lot of lettuce. So having something like this is uh, very, very necessary if you're gonna be feeding people full time out of this thing. And yeah, you need more than just salad. I know that, I know that. That's why there's fish down there. And that's why we got cauliflower and broccoli and beans and watermelon and cantaloupe and strawberries and corn and a whole bunch of herbs. We got Walla Walla sweet onions, we got red potatoes, we got gold potatoes, we've got carrots, we've got green or uh, green onions, we've got garlic, we got kiwi, uh, we've got Swiss chard, a whole bunch of lettuces on that side that I hope can be removed once we get this going. Uh, we've got cauliflower, black already said that. Green beans, green beans are doing awesome. We've got bananas. Look at the banana tree, man. The banana tree is like going bonkers here. It's got a whole new growth on it. It's got its original leaf. The little banana trees, banana tree one, banana tree, mini banana tree one, MBT one, MBT two, and a uh, banana tree here. It's doing good. We have lost all of our clementines, uh, but we have some new growth coming up. 
I think the problem is water. I gave them too much water. Uh, we got a grapefruit. We got some grapefruit going there. Uh, water is on. The almond tree has got some buds on it finally. The peach tree has got some good buds, and the apple tree is looking mighty fine as well. Plus, we got our uh, microgreens are growing. They're doing really well. We got our new germina germination chamber in. Boom! Starting to feel pretty good around here. So, uh, not getting ahead of ourselves. It's exciting. It's very, very cool. But a lot of this stuff is experimental. It may or may not work. Uh, I've already noticed I'm having to adjust some of the water levels as the plants are growing, kind of reducing the water levels down so that they're not so much water there because they don't need as much water when they're in the media beds. So that's having a positive effect. And I also created a log uh, event on the server so that when we do um, change the water level, we're keeping record of how often we have to change it. And then we can go back over that, do some analysis and I can actually start writing some software algorithms that will actually do that for us automatically. So uh, basically we'll be writing apps for each of the different plants. It's going to be way cool. Uh, neat. It's neat. It's neat, neat, neat. But we gotta, it's got to work, right? Because proof is in the pudding. If it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. So learning from our failures is important. I will say that because I, keep, I get down on myself when I say things like that. So i got to be careful. Anyway. Thanks for following along. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Don't forget, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Patreon. In the meantime, this is The Real Martian.